Department will not constitute a justification and a defense or a consideration for mitigating punishment. Such a provision is not included in the law for the punishment of Nazis and their collaborators. However, it is the contention of the prosecution that one should use this principle. The prosecution contains that there was no need to include this specifically in the law because this is one of the basic principles of accepted in law a common principle to the legal systems of all nations. This must be rejected. The criminal responsibility of the individual for an act of state was not accepted as a common principle of law. Nuremberg was the exception which applied only to the vanquished. This was not the first application of a generally accepted legal principle. This principle was not accepted. This was an exceptional provision, was not uh, explained by the fact that the principle of the act of state had become obsolete and that international law had developed beyond this. The explanation was that there necessarily had to be found a way to punish the leadership of the vanquished nations. And the reference to the Versailles Peace Treaty, according to one of whose paragraphs the judgment of the German Kaiser should have been made possible, that was misleading. Precisely this judgment was to have been founded on the contractual subjection according to the Peace Treaty and not in accordance with a previously existing legal principle. The higher the accused rises in the ranks of the political leadership, the clearer the application to him of the exceptional provision of the exceptional provision of the act of act of state. But this reason for exception applies to him also in his capacity as a subordinate, in as far in as much as he carried out the will of the state. Das Londoner Statut ist nicht nach schon bestehenden Rechtsgrundsätzen geschaffen, die auf die Hauptangeklagten wie auf jeden anderen anzuwenden waren und in die nur sie gerade verstrickt wurden. Aus der Entstehungsgeschichte des Londoner Statuts ergibt sich etwas anderes. Es sind nicht die anwendbaren Rechtsgrundsätze geprüft worden, sondern die Einwendungen, die die Angeklagten diese Rechtsgrundsätze zu erheben berechtigt waren. Diese Einwendungen wurden durch das Londoner Statut abgeschnitten. Auf diese Weise entstand rückwirkend ein neues Sonderrecht. Es war ein Recht nach Maß. Eine ähnliche Lage bestand bei der Schaffung des Gesetzes zur Bestrafung von Nazi und Nazi-Helfern. Der Ankläger hat dies bezüglich der Konspiracy für Verbrechen gegen die Menschlichkeit auch eingeräumt. Nach seiner Erklärung wurde hier die Strafbarkeit über das Londoner Statut hinaus ausgedehnt, um eine Lücke zu schließen und den erfassbaren Kreis der Teilnehmer an der Tat zu vergrößern. Es ist ein ex post facto Gesetz, das nachträglich auf einen bestimmten Personenkreis abgestellt wird. Dies widerspricht den allgemein anerkannten Rechtsgrundsätzen. And here one has to examine the problem of retroactivity of the law. The London Statute was not created on the basis of previously existing legal principles which apply to the chief defendants and to other persons which were enmeshed in these actions. It appears from the history of this London statute that the situation was quite different and the development was quite different. These people at the time did not examine the applicability of previously existing legal principles, but rather they examined any possible reservations which the accused may have raised against this, and the London statute was designed to fill the gaps which any such reservations may have pointed to. Thus, a new retroactive law 
was created. It was a custom-tailored law. The same applies to the creation of the law for the punishment of the Nazis and their collaborators. The prosecution admitted this with regard to the conspiracy for crimes against humanity. According to the contention of the prosecution, the extent of criminal responsibility was here extended beyond that of the London statute to plug a gap and to increase the circle of the participants in the those acts that could be brought to justice. This is an ex post facto law which is directed retroactively at a certain circle of people. This is in violation of the generally accepted legal principles and the principles of international law. Zum Abschluss ist noch ein Punkt zu behandeln, der besondere Beachtung verdient. President of Court, thank you, Dr. Savatius. Now, Mr. Hausner, you uh, wanted some time to make any remarks about the written material, if you have any such remarks, sir. We received uh, this edition, says Mr. Hausner, and and uh, by permission of court, we need a number of days, I believe until Sunday, we can have this matter put in order and be ready with our arguments. President of court, Dr. Savatis, I believe that the first copy of your uh, pleadings is of your summing up is now in your hand. This is initialed by me. May I have it back now, please? And I shall return another copy of your summing up to your hand, not the original. Dr. Savatius, yes. Herr Präsident, die uh, Seiten Your müssen noch nummeriert werden. Es wird sofort zurückgegeben. Dr. Savatius, Your Honor, we have not yet numbered the. Darf ich dann dem Gericht das Buch von Kenneth Neuber geben? Also hand to court the book by Kempner, the one requested by court. Mr. Hausner, if the court needs a further copy, I can uh, submit it to court because I have an additional copy of the book. President of court, this will be useful. President of Court, Dr. Savatius, after Mr. Hausner makes or submits his remarks, his additional remarks, you will be given a second chance to say the last word also in this matter. How much time do you need if you want to take advantage of this privilege? Dr. Savatius, I shall need two days, Your Honor.
outside. Number 101, the Attorney General will be allowed to answer in writing to the material submitted in writing by Dr. Savatius today. He will do so until the following Sunday. Dr. Savatius may answer these remarks also in writing within two days after receiving remarks from the Attorney General. Now, can you supply the court with the Argentine law mentioned by Dr. Sabatius? The law was mentioned in the preliminary arguments. If anyone has this law, Mr. Hausner, we have submitted a decision by an Argentine court relying on this law. And I do not argue that this is the law in the Argentine. Court, is this all you have? Do you not have the law itself? Attorney General, no, we do not. But uh, we can, if the court requests, get hold of the law itself and submit it. But a lady, this is desirable. Mr. Hausner, this was the case in Virginsky. And we uh, did mention this as a precedent and submitted it to court at the time. President of Court, well, if you can, please furnish us with a copy of the law. We shall be grateful for that. Mr. Hausner, yes, of course, Your Honours. President of Court, the remainder of the trial is now postponed until the judgment is to be given. And as we see the situation now, the judgment will not be given in any event before November of this year. You will receive notification at least two weeks ahead of time.